Right guys, I wanted to make this quick impromptu video to discuss casters or wheels for mobile tool carts and workbenches etc. Right, so most of you will be aware that I recently built myself this real simple cheap elk feed stroke assembly table and at the time I didn't put any wheels on it. So the normal sets of casters normally have at least two with a brake and some sets come with all four with the brake lever. I didn't really want to use those because I wanted the table to actually sit on the floor and that way there's like you're guaranteed it's not going to move when you're using it. So after spending a while looking at different options, um, the levelling casters with the dial on that you twist and it lowers a rubber pad onto the floor and actually lifts the wheels off the floor so you're not actually resting on the wheels were quite expensive to buy but I managed to find a set recently which were in my opinion a really great price so these are the ones I've gone for and they just consist of you've got your plate where you actually bolt it or screw it to your mobile tool car or workbench you get a really strong nylon wheel, you've got a big rubber flat pad on it and they've got this red dial which twists and basically once you get your bench or tool car in position you twist it and the pad actually comes down and makes contact with the floor and lifts the wheel off the ground so the bench isn't actually resting on the wheel it's resting on the actual rubber foot. So here's a quick close up of the wheel itself. You've obviously got your flat plate on, which you use to attach it to your mobile car or workbench. You've got the actual wheel itself, which is a really strong nylon, I think. Then you've got a big rubber pad. And basically, when you want to move it around, you would obviously twist this and you'll see that one way it actually lifts the wheel off the surface. So the wheel is actually not resting on the floor. And if you want to move it, you just basically twist this the other way and that will in turn lower the wheel down and effectively lift the workbench off and then it'll be on the wheels. So I'm not sure if you can actually see that. It actually says GD60. Now these casters come in four different weight categories. The GD40 is obviously the lighter one. And I know that carries about 330 pounds. This one is a GD60 and this will carry, I think the specifications reckon 551 pounds or 250 kilograms thereabouts. And that's for a single caster. So obviously you do the maths, you've got four casters on, that's quite a substantial weight. And then obviously for heavier machinery and things like that, you've got the GD80 and the GD100. So for a normal workbench, these should be more than sufficient. Right, so the main reason that I'm making this video is to give you guys a bit of a heads up. Now, if like me, you've been looking at these type of casters, for a while you'll know that the prices some of these companies charge are just extortionate for what is basically a set of wheels but i found these a couple of days ago at a really good price they've actually been reduced from 54.99 i think right down to 24.49 and that's with free delivery so i'm going to leave a link in the description for where i purchased these from and if you go through my link and make a purchase, it won't cost you anything extra, but it'll earn me a few extra pence, which goes towards supporting the channel. So 
If any of you guys are interested, check the link out below because I think at the price I paid, these are a bargain. I'm not sure how much stock they've got. I don't know how long they're gonna be reduced for, but I just thought any of you folks that are watching that have maybe looked at these in the past, unlike me, you don't wanna pay the extortionate prices, that you might actually be interested at that price. So go check them out. Um, I'm now gonna to have to redo the workbench, not redo it, but make the adjustments I need to make in order to accommodate the height of the wheels. And then I'm gonna see how hard it is to actually adjust the height once the weight of the workbench is actually resting on the wheels. Because like this, they're quite easy to wind up or down. But if you put pressure on it, it does get slightly stiffer. So I have heard people say that you can still operate it with one finger, but we're gonna find out. But first I need to make the changes to this. So what I've got to do, rather than strip it all down, I'm hoping that I can remove the lower shelf and the frame that the shelf sits on in one, leaving just the legs in place. And then I can basically work out how much I need to cut off, make the cuts, and then put it back together. So hopefully it should be fairly straightforward. So you'll notice that I'm not actually fitting the plates on square. I had to angle it slightly to avoid the screws that were in the legs. But it don't really matter about that anyway, so... So turning it upright wasn't as easy as it looks. So when it comes to adjusting the leveling caster it's simple to do one-handed operation you do get a little bit more resistance once the table actually starts lifting off the floor but you can still do it with a, your thumb and the only downfall with these is you have to get on your hands and knees to adjust it but for me that's not an issue right well i think you'll agree that was a success well happy with the wheels, definitely worth the £24.49 pence or whatever they were. Um, like I say, links in the description, go check them out. I'm not sure how much stock they've got or how long it's going to be reduced from 50 odd pound, £54.99 or something like that. 
So check them out, and if you use my link, I'll gain a few pence, and it won't cost you any extra. So that all goes to help my small channel out. So hope that's of interest to someone out there that may be looking for wheels. So as always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And till the next video, stay safe, and you'll see me in the next one. Cheers for watching, guys.